Hello everyone, and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. This one will be about mutations, and my best strategy that I've encountered so far. So, here in Blackwater Mine is uh, one of the best places I've found to get mutations. Partly because the only enemies you really have to fight in here are either three mole rats, three wolves, or three rad rats. There are mole miners on the way in here, but you can sneak past them. I've done it many times, and I don't have any sneak perk cards at all. But uh, what you want to do is you want to get come over here to these barrels and wait till you get a mutation. And of course, you got to make sure starch jeans is off. And I got chameleon. Uh, oh well, it's not too bad. It's not the best, but. Anyways, after you get your radiation, you run back up here. And on the left, there's a decontamination shower. Before you go into it, make sure you put starch jeans on if you want to keep the mutation. If you forget to put starch jeans on, there is a very high chance you will lose your mutations. I'm not saying it's 100%, because sometimes a rat away or... A decontamination shower doesn't get rid of a mutation, but most of the time it does. And after you get a mutation on that server, it's recommended that you leave the server because trying getting another mutation on the same server is going to take you a long time. It's faster to just leave the server and come back. But anyways, this is a point where I've done this a while. I've uh, got a ton of mutations, if not all of them. And this is my strategy. With the the three per cost luck card, Class Freak, I reduce the negative effects of mutations by 75%. So that makes having all the mutations kind of worth it. One mutation that I don't like is Empath. I just cannot stand it. Taking that 33% damage is insane. Scorch Beasts do a ton of damage. And you just can't outheal them anymore unless you're just constantly giving yourself a stim pack every time they hit you. So anyways, here I am trying to get rid of it. Adrenal Reaction, it's not one I care about, so I don't mind losing it. Herd Mentality is one I care about. That's one we want back. So we want to go back down here and try to get a new mutation. See, this is what I was talking about. Now, there is another way you could do this. You get, get all the mutations, get rid of one. It's not Empath or, for example, uh, Egghead. Just one off the top of my head that you don't want. If you lose something else that uh, you kind of don't really need, but you do kind of want to keep it because it's not worth getting rid of, then you just get it back, hop the server, try again. If it's not the one you don't want, get it back, hop the server, try again. Eventually, it might take you 20 tries to get it perfect to where you lose that specific one and only that specific one, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. At least, I think so. Mutations are pretty strong. And if you have a team with mutations, and then there's that one cost charisma card, strange in numbers, the positive effects are boosted by 25%. That's a lot. Especially for uh, those perks that give you defense. Uh, grounded, for example, it gives you a, a hundred energy resistance. Having an extra twenty-five, I mean, it's it's pretty good. Marsupial having that extra like five carry weight uh, on top of the twenty that it already gives you, that's pretty good too. And not to mention, you'll be able to jump twenty-five percent higher. There are many ways you could go about getting mutations. You could just slowly get ones that you want and uh, get rid of the rest. That might take you a while. 
But if you need a a strategy, it's one you could use. At this point, I've been probably trying to get mutations for three days. Just never got good rolls. Always got rid of the uh, empath at the very last mutation. This is how I discovered the strategy to just get rid of one. If it's not the one I want, go and get it back. Or if it's not the one I want to get rid of, go and get it back. And then hop servers, try again. Get rid of one. If it's not the one I want to get rid of, get it back. There are a couple of bugs that I found with these mutations. Having scaly skin, that one that reduces your action points and speed demon, there is a bug where sometimes you will be stuck at one action point and be able to sprint forever. There is also a bug conflict with marsupial and bird bones, where if you're in power armor, you have strange in numbers active, and you jump, sometimes, well actually it's most of the time if you have all the conditions met, you will fall really, really slow. You'll be pretty much flying. And let's, if you have strange in numbers active and then your teammates leave, there's a bug where all the positive mutation effects get wiped out. Not permanently, you can just take off the card and it updates it, but you won't have any positive mutation effects. You won't be able to jump high or carry that extra 20 pounds. You'd have to take off the card to fix that. And there is a bug where, see, I have herd mentality still, even though I haven't got it back, but that's it's really all. Just change servers to fix that. Alright, that'll be it for this video. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and consider subscribing to my channel, where I post gaming videos like this every single day. And with that said, catch you all in the next one. Oh, bye bye